Intermezzo 1938. So that's how a regular palooka goes from cabbie to mob enforcer overnight, is it? Just dumb luck. It didn't feel that way at the time. Me parking on that particular street, taking a break just when Polly and Sam are coming around the corner, what are the odds? I felt like, I don't know, like someone was watching out for us. <laughs> Whatever helps you sleep at night, pal, but it's a lucky break all the same. I mean, one day you're busting your back, doing an honest day's work in a city that's been trying to scrape you off its heels since the day you stepped off the boat, and the next you're stuffing your pockets full of Salieri's dirty money and lording it over the rest of us. Yeah, it wasn't like that. Back then, Salieri didn't have the run of the city. For every buck Salieri made, Don Morello would turn ten. He paid off cops, politicians, judges, and anyone he couldn't buy, he scared into looking the other way. He did seem to have the city jumping in its own shadow, I'll give you that. You hear anything about Joey Crackers? Yeah, got his name in the Morello file, sure. Boxer, right? Yeah. That's the guy. Way I hear it, Joey was just driving to the gym one morning. Probably daydreaming about winning a belt or something. God damn it! Moron! You drive with your goddamn eyes closed! Look at this! Jesus, Mary, Joseph, Dumb, Tom Morello, I didn't know it was you. You know anybody else driving a rare import in this part of town, Joey? No. Well, then, uh, I'm sorry, I, uh, I was driving real slow. You're saying this is my fault? No, 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 sir. I, I just, I just, I, I ain't never been in no accident. Well, repairs are gonna be expensive. Oh, you, you're not gonna need that, sir. The tires are just fine. His grills a little bent up is all. I mean, I got a cousin again. <laughs> Uh, someone spun your tail, pal. You got an informant right there that says Marilla made a mint every time crackers went to the mat. That's true, too. And still, Marilla left that poor sap dead in the street. Head all caved in. I don't square. Maybe the Don knew Joey's career was on the downhill. Or maybe he was trying to scare some other guy into paying up. Who knows? Don Salieri chalked it up to Morello not being able to think straight when he was mad. You, uh... Huh. Have any more run-ins with Morello's crew back then? Not at first. For a couple of years after I joined up, things were quiet. We got into a few dust-ups with guys trying to muscle in, but elsewise it was just the usual routine. We're running booze, offering protection, me and the boys doing rounds to collect, small time. But, I ain't gonna lie. Most days, we was also having a bit of fun. Fair Play, 1930. Tommy. Thanks for getting down here so quickly. Yeah, sure thing, boss. What do you need? You know, there's a race coming up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Polly and Sam have some money on uh, the local. Mikey Dunn. That's the guy. He's a good kid, but a bit of a scrapper. Not too smart with his money. A few years ago, Mikey comes to me asking for a loan. He wants to get new tires so he can keep racing junkers out at the quarry. <laughs> I like fast cars. I figured it'll be a bit of a hobby. Turns out, <laughs> Mikey's a great investment. The kid can't lose a race if he walks the track. He graduates from the junkers to gal jobs, and I start placing a few bets on him here and there. Next thing I know, I've made all my money back and more. Hey, uh, Sam says he's the guy to beat. He was. We ran all the competition out of town. But now Ralph says there's a hotshot European entering the race, and he's got a car faster than our boys by a country mile. How much do we stand to lose? A truckload, but not just our outfit. A lot of guys from the neighborhood come to me for financial advice. 
They've all put money down on this kid. It'll be like Black Thursday around here if he loses. Well, for everyone except Morello. Oh, you think he's from the European? Oh, I'm certain of it. You want something to happen to the driver? Can't find them. Merle's got him holed up somewhere safe. Besides, if he drops out or disappears now, none of our wagers will stand. Everyone will cry foul, say the race is fixed. What about his car? That's the ticket, Tommy. Ralph knows a guard at the track. You go down there tonight, you boost the European's car, bring it to one of our mechanics, and make a few adjustments, you bring the car back. Should be no problem, boss. Can I get a drink here? As soon as you're ready. Sure thing. Hört sich doch nach einem Plan an. You kidding? Feels like we're packing this place up and moving. Race day approaches. Zeitung 3. September 1932. Das große Rennen steht bevor. Der wichtigste Tag im Sportjahr geht an die Startlinie. Dieses Wochenende werden in Lost Heaven Autodrome bei prächtigem Sonnenschein Rekordbesucher zu erwartet. Der berühmte deutsche Fahrer Martin Lichtenberg nimmt eine kleine Auszeit von der internationalen Rennserie, um Mikey Dune herauszufordern, den Helden von Lost Heaven. Und die Rennsportfans können es vor Spannung kaum erwarten. Ja, das werden wir ja sehen. Ich würde da nicht allzu viel drauf wetten. Vor allem, wenn der Don seine Finger im Spiel hat. So that's a five, a six, along with what's already behind the bar. Was war das denn? Rafi? Hey, Titi Tommy. Big day coming up, right, right? You, you seen the race before? Uh, kind of hard to miss. Celieri isn't going to let Morello break his winning streak, huh? No, no, sir. Gotta send him a message. So, tonight, we will borrow his guy's motor from the track. My friend Bobby is a guard. For a little dough, he'll show you where it is and look someplace else while you t -t -t turn the key. I like Bobby already. Sh sure. Then in there is this other guy, Lolo Lucas Bertone. You take the car to him down under the Ju Ju Giuliano Bridge. He'll, you know, tune it a little. Make the race tomorrow more, more, more interesting. Then I take the car straight back and Bobby can stop looking someplace else. But you gotta be quick. B Bobby comes off shift at 1.30 and then and, and, and the next guy, he's an ass. Okay. Good to oh, listen. Hey, hey, if you need somewhere to keep your motor safe where no one can take him, Feel free to use the garage. Carlo finally got around to clearing it out. Thanks. Good to know. Vielen Dank dafür. Sieben Autos schon im Besitz. Motorrad. Schubert. Das ist natürlich auch nice. Taxi. Ich würde sagen, das. Ein richtig schönes Auto. Fuck. Sorry. Haut schon ab, Jungs. Ja, stopp halt mitten auf der Kreuzung. Ach du Scheiße, das wird gar nicht gut. Äh, rauskommen. Ich habe mir da was eingebrockt. Aber unser Auto ist viel schneller. Oh. Shit. Oh, das tat weh. Okay, da kann man sich nicht mal verstecken in den Büschen. Was das? All officers, search is called off. 
Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. Schöne Auto. Zu Schrott gefahren. Naja. Ah, Ich liebe die Musik in diesem Spiel jetzt schon. Da werden wir Lost Heaven Autodrome. You Bobby, yep. We can take your car to the garage. Place is empty. Any friend of Ralphie's a friend of mine. I mean, if you got the money, sure. morning they start coming. Whole city. They smuggle in hooch. There's fighting. I hate it. Ah, come on. Name a better place to pick up a dame than this place this weekend. Don't get me started. Things I've seen. Okay, this is it. Dann zeig mir mal das schöne Auto. Hier ist sie. 1929 Carazella C-Series. Best in class. Es ist schade, dass du es wreckst. Wenn sie das auf der Straße sehen, werden die Leute fragen, ob sie es fragen. Wenn sie es fragen, ja. Try to keep it one piece too, huh? So, I gotta be back from Breton by 1.30 before the next guy shift. Yeah, he's an ass. I heard. Gut, dann, let's go. Zwei Minuten okay. Fragen stellen, wenn sie sehen. Ist es weit? Bisschen. Ich muss einfach auf die geraden Strecke ein bisschen Stoff geben. Jo! Alter! Rutsch halt noch mehr! Ich sehe schon. Ja, das ist ein bisschen doof zu steuern. Alter. Und ich weiß, es kommt noch ein Rennen auf uns zu mit diesen Autos. Das ist so ein bisschen die Hassmission von allen Leuten. Von daher wird das sicherlich sehr lustig werden, wie ich da tausendmal fehlen werde. Links. Du scheiß eine Minute noch. Ich war ein bisschen bescheuert. <lacht> Das Auto ist echt ein bisschen äh, doof zum Steuern. Ich hoffe, die Zeit ist nicht für hin und zurück. Denn sonst wäre es ja jetzt schon lang. Schon lange am Arsch. Aber ich denke mal, das ist für hin. Ich kann es nicht sagen, zwei Minuten für diese Strecke. Beides hin und zurück. Okay. 
das macht das Ganze ein bisschen schwieriger. Und wir müssen diese Brücke dort nehmen. Gut. Einfach gut und schnell fahren, würde ich sagen. Vielleicht ist das ja besser. Ich versuch's mal so. Hat so ein bisschen weniger einen großen Überblick. No! Oh. Also da muss man ja rasen wie die Hölle. Ich kann auch hupen, Leute. Auto! Holy shit! No! Oh. doch nicht alle von mir ab! Oh. Links! Alter! Ich komme hier gerade ins Schwitzen! Nee. Alles gut, lass mich in Ruhe. War das von Ihnen wirklich so knapp oder habe ich es echt nicht geschafft? War die Zeit schon abgelaufen? Ja, habe ich nicht. Habe ich es gar nicht mitbekommen. Tommy Angelo. Lucas Bertoni. Oh, ain't she a thing of beauty? We don't have much time. Hey, I'm a fast worker. Sit tight. Hello, you. A little different than all the rest. A quite old fashioned where a hat sometimes played chess. And when I'm out 